Okay. Geometry 5-5, the triangle inequality. Got a basic triangle, triangle ABC here. The triangle inequality has to do with what kind of measures can my triangle be? We would think that I could just take three lengths and I could put them together and it makes a triangle, but that's not necessarily the case. So the rule is, if I add two sides of the triangle, it has to be greater than the third side. And it doesn't matter which two sides. So I'm going to start very basic. I'm going to go with AB plus AC. That has to be greater than the third side, which is BC. Okay, so there's three different possibilities. So now I'm going to go with AC plus BC, and that has to be greater than AB. And so now I'm going to go with um, the third one is AB plus BC. has to be greater than AC. Okay? So let's look at some examples. Let's say you're giving given, not giving, you're given an 8-inch ruler, a 12-inch ruler, and then let's say that there's a 16-inch ruler. Let's see if these could make a valid triangle. So we've got three tests. We've got to make sure that 8 plus 12 is greater than 16. We need to make sure that 12 plus 16 is greater than 8, and then we need to make sure that 16 plus 8 is greater than 12. Those are our three checks. Obviously, 8 plus 12 is 20, which is greater than 16. That's good. 12 plus 16 is 28, which is greater than 8. That's good. And then 16 plus 8 is also uh, 24 which is greater than 12, or which is also true. So since all three of those are valid, then this is a triangle. Is, yes, absolutely, Mr. Renault. Any of those types of answers will be fine. So let's take a look at another example. How about six, eight and 14. So let's do our three checks. Okay, six plus eight is 14 and 14 is not greater than 14. So that is, oh, where'd my pen go? There we go. So that is not true. 8 plus 14 is greater than 6. 14 plus 6 is greater than 8. If you get 1 not true, then this is not a possible triangle. Okay, now let's look at a range problem. Let's say that I gave you triangles or triangle edges of three feet and seven feet. And then I asked you, what is the smallest number that could make this a complete triangle? Okay, what's the smallest 
number that could make this a complete triangle. Well, just got to use some mental math on this one. Obviously, we can't have zero, so we would start with one. Um, one's going to be quickly eliminated because if I take one plus three, that's going to give me four. It is not greater than seven. Okay, so let's go with two. Two plus three is five, which is not greater than seven. Uh, we do have to test three. Could possibly be three. Three plus three is not greater than seven. Four plus three is not greater than seven. Five plus three is greater than seven. So let's kind of pencil in, um, let's see, how could I do this? Let's pencil in a five. So let's call it three, five, and seven. That is true so far. Yes. How about five plus seven greater than three? That is true so far. How about seven plus three greater than five? That is also true. So the smallest number would have to be five to satisfy that triangle inequality. Okay, that's pretty short. That is 5-5, um, the triangle inequality.